everybody's talking about transitioning from pip or poetry to using uv which is a rust based python package manager in this video today i want to show you how we can use it in production with docker so let us get right into it All right, so this is going to be quite a quick tutorial. There's not too much to cover. We basically just want to learn how to integrate UV as part of our production deployment. So how we can integrate UV into our Docker setup, which means how we can change the Docker file in order to use UV instead of pip or poetry or something else that you're using. And for those of you who don't know what UV is, if you have been living under a rock, UV is a Rust based Python package manager. It's the state of the art, you could say people are switching to it. It replaces tools like Poetry, PipX, uh, the ordinary PIP package manager, but also virtual environments because it does a lot of stuff for us and it does it very quickly. So I'm not going to cover UV in general too much in this video today. If you want to know about UV, what it is, watch my other video on UV. Today, I'm going to focus specifically on how to use it for production, how to integrate it into our Docker setup. And for this, I'm going to open up my working directory and I'm going to dockerize a very simple fast API application. So we're going to go through the whole workflow, install UV onto your system. You can do that with cargo. You can do that with pip, I think. So pip three install UV should work to install UV onto your system. And then you can just go into a directory where you want to be working in and you can say UV in it to create a UV project. And what we're going to do now is we're going to just add the packages. So in my case here, I'm going to use fast API. I'm going to use Y finance and I'm going to use UV corn to run the entire thing. You can see this is what it takes here a second or so uh, to install everything. And now I can go into my main file and I can build a very simple hello world like application in fast API. So I can say here from fast API import fast API, I can say app is equal to fast API. And then I can say app dot get and I can say download ticker and then I can pass a path parameter here ticker, which is going to be passed to the function download ticker. And here now I'm going to say just the data is equal to I need to import that, of course, uh, import Y finance as YF and then YF download ticker data to CSV data dot CSV and then return success. Yeah, so that's about it. That's our simple fast API application. Of course, feel free to do whatever you want here. You can build your own application. You can deploy your own application. I just use this as an example. Now it's a very basic tool. All I have to do here is I have to say UV run UV corn and then main.py and actually, sorry, not main.py main colon app. This is going to run now my application, my fast API application. I can open it here in a browser window. I can go to slash download ticker AAPL. This is going to download the Apple stock data in my case here. So if I look at the data CSV file, you can see now the stock information, the trading information here for Apple stock. Very simple example. Again, just our example application. And now the question is, how do I properly deploy this? How can I containerize it? How can I dockerize this while still using UV, not using something like a requirements TXT file and pip? And for this, we of course need to create a Docker file. So ordinary Docker file, I assume you know what Docker is. Uh, if not, I recommend watching my Docker crash course or watching or reading up on some other resources, but I'm not going to cover what UV is. I'm not going to cover what Docker is. The goal here is to use UV in production. I assume you know both things at least on a very basic level. And in our Docker file now, we're going to specify that the base image that we want to use is Python uh, 3.13 slim bookworm. Now you can also choose some other version of that if you want to. But we're going to still have to install UV manually. So UV is not going to be part of Python of the Python base image here. So the first command that we want to run here is a copy command that is going to copy from a uh, from an online source, the UV binaries. Now, if you want to just copy paste this, you can go to the documentation of UV. They have a section here for integrations using UV in Docker. 
and they actually show you the line that you have to put into your Docker file. So you can either do it like this, you can just copy from uh, ghcr.io astral sh uv and then here they have latest this is not optimal for production because when you're using this in production i think they mentioned it somewhere here as well that it is a best practice to uh, freeze the version so i think they say it here in either case it's best practice to pin a specific uv version so you want to specify a concrete number but in general, this is the line you want to copy. So I'm going to just put it here, copy from, and in my case, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to navigate again to my working directory. I'm going to say UV dash dash version. And in my case, it's 066. So not uh, the newest version, but I can just replace this here 0.6.6. .6 if I want to have the exact same version that I have on my system. And now I have here the binaries UV, UVX and bin. That's important. Basically, when I do that, I have UV available. Of course, what you can also do is you can use the installer. So you can use here run apt get update install and all that. And then you can add the installer here, you can run the shell script and all that if you want to do it that way. I prefer this because I just have a single line that I need to uh, copy and paste into my Docker file. But once we have that, the rest of the workflow is kind of similar as before. So we're just going to say at uh, dot slash app. So we're going to just copy the content of this directory to the directory called slash app, we're going to say that the working directory is going to be slash app. And then I'm going to run here, the command uv sync dash dash locked, this is basically our pip install dash r requirements, txt alternative. So this is this accomplishes the same thing because in our uh, directory here, we have our UV log file. So this is what we're going to use to get the dependencies, we can take a look at that. Here we have all the versions of the packages, basically frozen or locked into our file. This is our requirements txt file, if you want to call it that. And this is the command that basically allows us to use all the packages. And then just for documentation purposes, I'm going to expose a thousand here, even though it doesn't really make a difference. And now the interesting thing here is if you want to run this, you need to use UV as well. So we're going to say the command for running this is UV run UV corn main colon app dash dash host zero 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 dash dash port 8000. That is that. And now all we need to do is the basic Docker stuff, we need to say Docker built current directory. Now we can also specify a tag. So before the colon, we can say dash dash tag and then whatever UV production or something like that. This is going to then create an image that we can use to build a container to run a container. There you go, it's done. And now I can just say Docker run, and I can specify a couple of things. For example, I want to use the port mapping 8000 being mapped to 8000. Of course, this is the same in the Docker compose file, if you have one, uh, then UV production, and then I can say dash dash name, and let's call it UV prot container, or something. I think we need to do that before that. So we need to say here, UV prod production, like this. And now what happens is this is executed in a container. So this is now running in a Docker container, I can still open it in the browser, I can still call the endpoint slash download ticker and then AAPL, or let's do something else like Nvidia then I can run this. And then you're going to see that if I open up a second terminal, I say docker exec dash it. And what was the name UV prot container bash, then I can see that I have here my data CSV file, which contains the stock information. So of course, I can also map this now to a volume or something if I want to get this file without having to execute a bash. Uh, shell here, but this is how you use UV in Docker, you just specify that you want to install it, you say copy or you use the installer, then you run this UV sync locked, and then you use this command here with UV run either UV corn or whatever you're using gunny corn, if that's how it's pronounced. Uh, basically, that's it.
quite simple, not too much to cover here, as I said, but this is how you use it. And of course, another thing that maybe is important if you're publishing this as a package, you want to also set up your pipe project Tomo uh, properly with a proper name with a version description and so on. But yeah, these are just small details. The important thing is you want to have your Docker file in a way that allows you to use UV in production. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and hope you learned something. If so, let me know by hitting a like button and leaving a comment in the comment section down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to not miss a single future video for free. Other than that, thank you much for watching. See you in the next video and bye.